Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Warpath. And this decal set includes two decal sheets, one on foil backing and one on clear. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Warpath, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Warpath looks great and very faithful to the original Generation 1 toy. He is covered in tons of great sculpted detailing that really looks great on this figure. Now, he is lacking for paint applications. He really doesn't have any whatsoever except right up here on the face. He's got black painted eyes and, of course, the white face, and that's really all there is. I mean, he looks awesome, but really lacks some details. So there you go, guys. One final look at Warpath in robot mode before. And after. Warpath gets quite a few new decals to help enhance his robot mode. The first ones I'm going to show off are the new blue decals that cover up his black soulless eyes. So I really like how that looks, especially against the white face. Got decals here on the side of the chest, number 87 for the year he came out. A new Autobot decal right there on the stomach. New yellow decals right there on the waist. Blue decals here on the thighs. Decals here along the side of the feet that you'll see more of in tank mode. And he's got decals here on top of the shoulders. So not a lot of decals for Warpass robot mode but it really works. So there you go, guys. Warpath in robot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, Warpath once again looks great. Very faithful to the Generation 1 toy, but once again, no paint applications. Loads of great sculpted details, but the only real paint application he has in tank mode is the Autobot logo right there dead center. But other than that, a fantastic looking tank just definitely needs some more POW. So there you go, guys. One final look at Warpath in tank mode before. And after. And tank mode is where this toy hack set really shines. As you can see, Warpath looks a lot different now. He's got new panels right here along the side. This one with a star, three lines here, and one there with an Autobot logo. Now there is the option where the last one you can just have plain gray, but I went with the logo like I always do. He also has new decals up here on the turret. Right there is some Decepticon logos showing how many Decepticons he's killed. 87 right there for the year he came out. And on the barrel, you get some options for some graffiti style decaling. You've got PAL. And on this side, I have Kaboom. Now, there are options there as well. Bang, blam, and Kadoom. <laughs> also on this side, there's more graffiti-style artwork showing Warpath taking out Trypticon. More panels here on the side. On top of the tank, there is a blue decal right there on the hatch. More gray decals right there to break up all the red. On the front of the tank is gray decals there. And the rear, he has tail lights. So I really like how Warpath looks now. He is ready to definitely take on the Decepticons. So there you go, guys. Warpath in tank mode after. The Toy Hex decal set for War for Cybertron Kingdom Warpath is a simple decal set 
that adds lots of personality to this already very personable character. I really like the decals in robot mode that help break up all that maroon, and the blue eyes are just awesome. I love those so much more than the plain black eyes that he came with. Tank mode is fantastic. Tank mode really pops, so kudos to Toy Hacks. They knocked this one out of the park. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah!